Today we're having a youth stickball league. It's kind of one of the first here. First up will be the um, Warriors against the Indian Outlaws. Um, Warriors are, consist of camp kids that went to school here for the summer. And the Indian Outlaws is part of the Cherokee Nation citizens and members. That'll be the first game and the next will be the Nighthawk Juniors. Um, Nighthawk Juniors is a an off branch from the professional Nighthawk team. It's um, ages from 8 to 12 and hopefully will come up next year to be uh, 13 through 17 and have two two different divisions. We're playing a Choctaw style stickball. We gotta start scratch from the, from the ground up. It's kind of a, the sportsmanship of the game and kind of to keep the kids their abilities and how to catch and throw. My biggest dreams is that maybe one day these teams will get together and go down to World Series and play in the Mississippi Choctaw World Series. Well, we're trying to preserve the game, you know, for uh, stickball. You know, it's our culture and our tradition, you know. Uh, we've been playing it for many years, you know, way back east, you know, we played the game before, the you know, European contact, and, you know, we'd, we'd like to continue all these teams here, you know, maybe get together and that way we can continue having a little youth stickball. My son's name is Eagle Fisher and he's playing stickball. I think it's important that these children learn their culture and their tribes, their traditions, because it's a dying breed. Cherokees are dying out, we're picking up other people's cultures, and I feel that it's important that we teach the younger ones so they can teach theirs. I encourage all parents to bring their children out, have them come join a team, have them come out, even just to practice or play. Physical fitness is very important, and this is a good way to teach them physical fitness and about their culture.